Well guys, it finally happened. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. For those of you guys who aren't new to my channel, you know that I have a little, very small homestead on my Southern California property and we have some chickens and we're kind of like waiting for our Easter egg or chickens, which we got on March 10th. I think they were two weeks old around that time and they're just starting to get into the age where it's like, okay, any day now you're gonna lay an egg. And we finally got our very first Easter Ager egg. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, an Easter Ager is a breed of chicken which lays like a bluish greenish egg. I think it just kind of depends on, you know, their ancestors and which birds mated and that will determine kind of if their egg is more blue or more green. But we got our very first one. It kind of like, in comparison to just all the brown and white ones that we're used to getting, it's the only one in there and it's like, is that a rotten egg? Like it just, it's weird, but it's a beautiful green color. But unfortunately, I can't eat this egg and let me tell you why. So about like a week ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, we noticed that one of our Easter eggers, it's a brown and black bird, the eye was, had like little bubbles in, in her eye and her cheeks, because the Easter eggers have like little feathers and it gives them puffy little cheeks. One of the cheeks next to the bubbly eye was like all like wet. So like, it's obviously like oozing or something. Sorry, this is gross, but if you are interested in bird, you know, having birds or chickens or whatever, you kind of have to be ready for, you know, actually taking care of them. It's not just like, oh, I feed, give them food and they give me eggs and that's it. So anyways, we noticed that and I looked it up and apparently there's only one kind of disease. I'll put it on the screen here. There's only one kind of disease that kind of presents like that where you get the little bubbles in the eye. So Juan ordered some medicine for the bird and we, you know, isolated her from the flock. Apparently it's incurable as far as I know. So hopefully, you know, the medicine has helped and she won't like continue to show symptoms and need to be on medicine all the time because that is why we can't eat these eggs. Uh, we have to wait like a week for the medicine to be out of her system so that nothing gets transferred to the egg and then therefore we ingest it and you know, it affects us in some way. It may not, but it's just, you know, better safe than sorry. So anyways, we isolated her. We kept her in a little cage, which will be useful for when we have broody hens, we can separate them and hopefully break their broodiness, which is when they're trying to hatch the eggs that aren't fertilized anyways. So I do need to use that cage for chickadee. Uh, we have a broody hen. So anyways, I put her in, a, I put the sick chicken, sorry, I'm going back and forth, but this is just how my life is right now. I put the chicken in a little cage uh, gave her her medicine in diluted water, gave her food and just kind of took care of her and her eye cleared up. So there was a part of me that was like, oh, should we keep giving her the medicine and keeping her secluded or should we just reintroduce her to the flock? So this is where the story takes a little turn for the worse. She's still alive. Don't worry about that. that but Anyways, I was talking with Juan about it and he said, okay, we'll just like let her free range because she was knocking over her medicine water and she's making a mess in the in the cage. So I, I said, okay, I'll, I'll let her free range. I'll clean out the cage and you know, maybe we'll reintroduce her to the flock in a bit. And I saw her run up to the side of our old coop where we have like a mice problem because chickens and mice kind of go hand in hand. And I didn't think about it. And then I look back again and I'm like, where is she? And I realized like it finally hit me. She's where we have all of the like glue traps for the mice. And she got stuck. She had like five glue traps stuck all over her body. I felt so bad. I felt like a horrible chicken mama and you know, here, you know, she's already, she's already, she was already sick. You know, obviously, you know, not being just like a happy chicken. So we're trying to take care of her. And then she runs to the one place where it's not like chicken safe in our backyard. 
and she gets stuck. So there I was like trying to peel these glue traps off of her. We trimmed some of the feathers so that she didn't have glue just on her body. It is non-toxic, but still, you know, like I just like this poor bird. So Juan helped kind of clean the stickiness off her feet. And we were just like, let's just reintroduce her back to the coop. And no more than like an hour later, she was in the nesting box laying this egg. <laughs> I went to go look on my phone just to see if there were any eggs and I saw the chicken in there and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the chicken I just put back in. And then I hear her making some sounds and making like a body posture of like laying an egg. And then I hear a little plop. And so I was like, I'm gonna go outside and, and, and check. Like I, I can't rewind to that camera and see, you know, which chicken laid which egg. So it was just like such a lucky moment for me to open up my phone, my app and view on my camera and have her be in that nesting box in the exact moment that she's laying her first egg. So I went out there and I, I just saw like the fake egg at first. So then, you know, I peeked around her cause she was still in the nesting box and I see this cute little green egg. It's not very large, so I'd probably consider it a small egg and their first eggs typically are pretty small, but I was just so happy and excited to see our very first colorful egg. This is the first time I've ever seen a colorful chicken egg, you know, like I've always just seen like the brown and the white. So it was very interesting. I was expecting it to be more blue, so I guess she lays green eggs then. <laughs> But like I said, as far as I can tell, the chicken seems to be doing well. I'm hoping that she will, you know, like feel better with the medicine and be able to maybe just not display the symptoms of whatever illness she has since it is incurable. The other hens, after having been with her this whole time, like they haven't started exhibiting symptoms. So they very well could have this same disease but they just don't show symptoms. And based on the research that I did, like you can eat the eggs if they have the disease, as so long as they're not taking like antibiotics or medicine for it. So we're gonna probably have to trash all her eggs for the next week. But after that week is up, we can finally, you know, enjoy the eggs that she's producing. And the other two Easter eggers that we have haven't started laying as far as I know. And I kind of hope that they don't because I don't wanna have to be like, you know, throwing out like a good egg just in case it was, you know, hers. So I'm hoping that they hold off for another week and then I can just trash these, but it's so beautiful. I'm gonna hold on to it just for looks at least uh, for a little bit longer before we throw it away. And since we are talking about the chickens, I have the same kind of feeling that I felt when Carmel, our one of the OG chickens, the original chickens that we had, um, Carmel, you know, died. I don't know how how long after being here, but she, I could tell she wasn't like herself, you know. Uh, one of our other chickens hasn't laid eggs for a while. We really don't know how old she is because the she's one of the original four that we got and we got them as adults. So we don't know if they were just like newly starting to lay eggs or if they had been a couple of years old and they these ones are at the end of their lives. So we don't know, uh, but she hasn't laid eggs in, gosh, I wanna say at least two or three months. Like I don't remember the last time that I got an egg from her. And today she was just not showing a lot of interest in like going after the food when I brought them some snacks. So I kind of feel like we're probably gonna lose one of our hens, uh, you know, if not, if she's not already like dead in there, I kind of see some weird feathers. So probably should go check on that. But yeah, we're probably gonna lose another chicken, sadly. I think they're, they're just kind of getting old. So that'll be kind of sad when, if and when that happens. I, I mean, it may have already happened, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm looking over and I'm just seeing like, feathers not really moving. So I think I need to go check on that bird. So that's going to be kind of sad, but once the, once the older ones kind of start dying off, we may consolidate all of the birds into one coop, which will be nicer to clean. And then we're going to take down that coop and it actually will be really great dirt for planting like a tree or something. So I think, you know, 
a, a good a good tree might go in that section because of the great soil that is there. So that's going to be, you know, in the works probably in probably within the next year is my guess since these chickens are so old. But anyways, that is my little chicken update. I'm so excited that we have our very first Easter egg or egg. And I'm hoping that the other two start laying again in at least a week. And maybe we'll get like a different variety of like blue or green and it'll be easier to tell which egg comes from which hen and you know just have even more like color variety in our egg collection each day but anyways now that it's getting louder out here i should wrap this up i'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video if you guys are new here and want to see more chicken and just motherhood and very small homesteading content go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you liked this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button that really helps me out and i will catch you guys in the next one to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.